to Fast Break Friday. Welcome back to part two of this edition of Fast Break Friday. Let's zone in on another undefeated team in our area, the Chesney Boys Squad. Tonight, they look to complete their perfect regular season against Ovid LC. Chesney goes to Maxwell Bull, drives in, nice ball fake, and finishes off the window. The home squad would keep on rolling off the inbounds play. Mason Struck hands it to Nate Ferry, who gives it right back to Struck underneath. Great play there in the student section, getting after it. Electric tonight. Chesney wouldn't let up. It's Braden Florian drives it in and lays it in. Chesney gets the win, 61-51, and they win and make this a perfect regular season, 22-0. Let's head back to guard with the Dukes, taking on Frankenmood. Eagles got it going early. Ethan Edwards finds some space behind the arc and cashes in on a three. Great passing by the Dukes allows Max Fellows open at the charity stripe, and he gets it to drop in. A double team allows Owen Prokopenko open from downtown, and he delivers for Garber. Then with seconds left in the first quarter, Ali Hubbard puts up a three at the buzzer and nails it, but Garber would have the lead at the final buzzer, winning it 63-55. to Saginaw High welcoming Carmen Ainsworth to town tonight. The Trojans down, but trying to rally back. They find Fransco Lee Jr. takes it strong to the rack and lays it in. Saginaw High's TJ Stevenson going to get it the loose ball and then leads the fast break. Nobody stops him, so he just takes it in, finger rolls at home. But the Cavaliers wouldn't give up their lead. Deuce West in the second with a nice crossover. Pulls up and buries the mid-range jumper. Carmen Ainsworth gets the win 68-49. Now to another Saginaw Valley League matchup. Grand Blank hosting Mount Pleasant. Both teams with winning records in the regular season as we pick things up in the first quarter. Grand Blank going to find Donnie Huddleston on the move. Hits the mid-range jumper for two. And the Bobcats this time are going to find Bryce O'Mara from the top of the key. And that one falls for Grand Blank. Mount Pleasant now with it in Easton Day. Look at the move here. Turns around, fires that one, and it's nothing but net for the Oilers. However, Graham Blank would pull away. Vincent Bates Jr. turns on the Jets. Nice drive down the lane with the reverse layup. And Graham Blank takes down the Oilers tonight, 63 to 56. Davison is second in the Saginaw Valley League. They hosted Dow tonight. Cardinals leading when Austin Echo lets it fly. And Nice shooter's bounce as the three goes down. Now it's Jared Augustine Jr. His main red jumper is good. Dow trying to hang tough. Donovan Smith going to get the steal. Takes it himself and finishes the play right in your living room. But Davison protects home court. Buddy Banks Williams Jr. Going to splash home the triple as the Cardinals soar this one 46 to 43. Last but certainly not least, Valley Lutheran takes on Carlton. And as this one, Carlton looking to get here in this one as Damian Gray's drives in the defense that allows Jeffrey Chandler open under the hoop and an easy two points for the Cavs. Great vision by the Chargers, Brady Smith, who cuts off the pass and steal and takes it all the way off the glass in the bucket. And the student section was loving it so much they started the surf. But the Cavaliers would get it going late. Gray's with a fake pass, puts up the triple and delivers. Carlton would end the game on a 12-1 run and earn a 49-43 victory.